Amen. Amen. Look at the many devices of the devil. Amen. He has devices and he's, used, he's, he's trying to use it against you. He's trying to use it against the church. Amen. And that's why we, we have to learn how to, to block every device of the enemy. In Second Corinthians chapter two and verse ten and eleven. Good witnesses. Witnesses. Or if I forgive anything to whom I forgive it, but your sins forgive I eat in the person of Christ. Let Satan should get an advantage of us. Mm. Though we are not ignorant of his devices. You hear that? Amen. Yes. So, so this is one of the, one of the ways that the devil devices can really hit you is when you hold unforgiveness. Unforgiveness is a door open. Yeah. When you have unforgiveness, you just open the door for the devil. And his devices will hit you. You know what I said? Yeah. I said his devices will hit you. Yeah. As long as you have unforgiveness in your heart. Yeah. You become a target for the devil. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Let's go to 2 Corinthians 13 and verse 5. Second Corinthians chapter 13 verse 5. Now, let's remember, Paul let us know that the devil do have devices. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Amen? Mm -hmm. But the devil do have what? Right. And what he's using, what, what he's doing with these devices, mm -hmm. he's using them mm -hmm. against you, sins of God. Mm -hmm. He's using these devices against you. Infirmity is a device. Amen. 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 Confusion is the device. Yeah. Make you confused. Mm -hmm. Fear is the device. Mm -hmm. Fearful. Mm -hmm. That's the yeah. device. Because what fear does, it paralyzes your faith. Amen. Mm -hmm. And cause you to be disabled. So Amen. the enemy is able yeah. now to, 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 to empower, yeah. to enforce his devices because you're fear, you're fearful. In Second Corinthians chapter thirteen, verse five. Examine yourselves. You hear that? Yes. This is how you overcome the devil. Examine yourself. Examine. Look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor, examine yourself. Examine right. yourself. Amen. Yes, yes. Amen. It didn't say examine others. Examine you. Yourself. Because a lot of times you like examine one another. That's true. <laughs> Examine you, see what's wrong with you, see what you, if you got everything together. Amen? See if you got everything together, not, 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 amen. Whether you be in the faith, uh -huh. prove your own self. You hear that? Where do you be in the faith? Well, what would he say? Prove your own self. Prove your own self for us. <laughs> Knowing not your own selves, how that Jesus Christ is in you, except he be reprobates. You hear that? My God. So, say what? In order for you to even uh, block any device of Satan, Jesus got to be in you. Amen. Jesus got to be in you. If you are, if you are going to block every device of, of the devil, Jesus got to be in you. Every device is of confusion, we cancel it in Jesus' name. In the middle of each of the Amen. Amen. Every device of confusion, that we cancel in the name of Jesus. In my name of Jesus. Every device of stagnation, that we cancel in the name of Right? No, in my name of Jesus. Every device of stagnation, that we cancel in the name of Jesus' name. name. Do you know stagnation is the devices? Yes. Ah, uh, stagnation where, where yes. you're not moving. You can't sit right uh, You see, you're not excelling. You're not excelling. 
Amen. Amen. You're not excelling. That's a that's a device. Amen. And that's one of the devil's advices, devices against the church. So the church, Paul says, I mean the Bible says, ever learning. You ever learning, but not but not maintaining what you're learning. So you're learning, but you're not maintaining it. You can't keep it. So now you're not moving forward. You're not moving forward. Amen. The purpose of the word of God is, is, is for us to excel. The word of God is supposed to excel you. Amen. The more you are in the presence of God, the more you have been influenced by the word of God, you ought to be growing spiritually. Amen. And then you'll be able to, when you start to pray, you'll be able to block the vices of the enemy. Amen. Yes, Amen. yes. This is the first Corinthians, chapter 11, verse 31. For if we would judge ourselves, mm. we should not be judged. You hear that? Yeah. See, when, 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 you are, when you are really talking about you're going to pray against and to block your devices, you got to make sure that your life you is clean. clean yeah. yes. You got to make sure you left it. And the Bible says that you are to judge yourself. Yeah. Amen. So that means when you judge yourself, you judge yourself in the light of the word of God. Amen. You open the Bible and see where you missing it. Amen. Where you it. And now when you bring that light to you, I'm telling you, you can see some stuff in you. Because the light turning on, you can see some stuff in you that you need. Amen. That you need to let go. Because there'll be a lot of stuff that we can be holding on to that will cause these devices to be effective. Amen. Because we're still holding on a lot of stuff. Amen. Some, some people hold on on past relationship because it was hurt. And still holding on it. Because it's still, still holding on Now, that can also give the devil an opening. Because you're still holding somebody. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you're, you're praying, you're praying, but nothing working. Just don't work. <laughs> Let it not be you. Say, Lord. Lord. Give me the grace. Give me the grace. And I will release. I release. Everyone. Everyone. That done me wrong. That done me wrong. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Yes, yes that we got to release them. We got to forgive them. You got to let them go. Amen. If your prayer can be powerful, you can't come before God in prayer and hold somebody in your heart because of what they did. Lose them. Lose them. Amen. Let's go to Psalms 32, verse 1, 1 to 5. Psalms chapter 32, verse 1 to 5. Blessed is he who takes no transgression is forgiven. Yeah. Who sins covered. Hallelujah, you hear that? Mm -hmm. Amen. Now, a person like this, when they pray, they can block the devil by the time. Amen. The sin has been covered. So the devil will have nothing on them. Amen. And for the devil to be effective, he must have something on you. Mm -hmm. that, that will give him a little right. Sin gives the devil a little right to our life. Sin. Yeah. Because as long as we sin, demons, they have a fun day. Because now, you become easy target. Mm -hmm. They can go in, they can touch, they can hit. You know? Because why you open the door? Sin will open the door for demons. Open the door for the devil to afflict you. Sin. Amen? Amen. You know this, that church don't talk about sin much no more? That's true, Pastor. It's like sin. Like, if you talk about sin, you know, you're going to turn away people. <laughs> I thought the purpose of the gospel is to win people. Amen. And, and, and the gospel ha ha have a lot to say about sin. Amen. 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 God doesn't hate the sinner. God he loves the sinner, Amen. but he hates the sin. Amen. Yeah. 
Amen. So the purpose of the gospel is to bring deliverance to the sinner. Amen. 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 So he's. I said, this is a man unto whom the Lord imputed not iniquity. Uh huh. And in whose spirit there is no guile. You hear that? He have a clean spirit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When this person pray, oh God, things happen. Amen. Something happen. When this person pray, something happen. Amen. So they have, they have a clean spirit. Amen. A clean spirit. Amen. God can work. God can work with them. <laughs> when I kept silence, my bones waxed old. My God. Through my roaring all the day long. Through my roaring. For day and night, thine hand was heavy upon me. Mm. My moisture is turned into the drought of summer. Mm. I acknowledged my sin unto thee. My God, he repented. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. And my iniquity have I not healed. My God, David said, I'm exposing me. Amen. I'm going to expose me Amen. before God. Amen. I'm going to expose my nakedness before God. Amen. 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 Not expose others, expose you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not expose other people's nakedness. Expose you. Amen. And I ask God to forgive you. Amen. Amen. Then you'll be able to lead somebody else. In the right way. I said, I will confess my transgressions unto the Lord, mm. and thou forgivest the iniquity of my sin. Mm. My God, Tim was a Tim was a man truly after God Almighty. Mm -hmm. yeah. He's so quick to repent. Yes. Mm -hmm. He's so quick to repent. Yeah. And if you have a heart like this, where you yeah. know you mess up, and you know, you repent. Yeah. You let it ride. Don't put him aside and say, you know, you know, and, and, and don't make no excuse. Amen. You repent, deal with it, repent, and let God. Trina. And God forgive you, and you, will, you move on. Repent and renew your mind. Because a lot of people sin and they make excuses. Amen. That's you true. You don't want an excuse for sin, or one of come short. Amen. All of Mr. Mark. Keep on saying that. They have a sin issue. Amen. That's true. Yes, because they need a scripture to justify them. Yes. No. Expose that sins. I God forgive you. Amen. Amen. You know, you know, the difference between a believer and a sinner. The believer don't practice sin. A no. sinner practice sin. Amen. But when a believer allows sin to continue to stay in their mm -hmm. heart and continue to repent over the same sin, you're practicing that sin. That's why they go. Mm -hmm. See, you ask God to forgive you, but you're not renewing your mind. So you go right back to it. Deliverance is not only just you give your life to the Lord, but you ought to be trying to form. Because if you're not being transformed by the renewing of your mind, right. you can go right back. Amen. You can go right back doing the same God. thing that you've been doing. That's true. So you need new information. You need new information. Let's go to, uh, let's go to uh, Isaiah. Chapter 1, verse 19. Isaiah 1, verse 19. If he be willing and obedient, uh -huh. he shall eat the good of the land. You hear Amen. That? Since the God, you hear what I'm saying? If you be willing, you be obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. So the land got a lot of good. Mm -hmm. But he said, you, you got to be obedient and be willing. Mm -hmm. And it didn't stop there, really. But if he refuse and rebel, oh. he shall be devoured with the sword. My God. Mm -hmm. For the mouth of the Lord hath spoken. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. For the mouth of the So if you are, if you disobey mm -hmm. what he said, mm -hmm. you'll be devoured of what he said. Jesus. 
This ain't the devil speaking. This is God speaking. The man of God has spoken. This is not the man. Isaiah only, only speaking with God. Amen. 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 Let's go to 1 Samuel uh, chapter 15, verse, verse 22. 1 Samuel chapter 15, verse 22. Samuel said, And the Lord has great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices, as in obeying the voice of the Lord. Behold, so obey is better than sacrifice. You hear that? Amen. And the fat of rams. You hear that? Amen. Mm -hmm. Obedience is better, better than sacrifice. sacrifice. Yes, yes. To obey God is better than any sacrifice. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Because you are bringing a sacrifice to God that God don't want because you're walking in disobedience. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that's what happened to Saul. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. That's why Samuel prophesied this to, to Saul. Mm -hmm. Because he thought he could just give God anything. God <laughs> told him to kill every day. Mm -hmm. God didn't tell him to save anything. He said kill everything. everything. And he disobeyed God. Huh? You disobey God. Amen. Mm -hmm. You we must we must be obedient to the word of God. Amen. Amen. You must be obedient to the word of God. If you want the word of God to work through you, you gotta be obedient to what God says. Yes. If you want to see the power of God manifest through you, you gotta be obedient to what God says. God. Amen. If you want to see transformation in your life, obedient. you gotta be obedient to what the word of God says. Yeah. Amen. Yes, it comes with tests and trials, and yeah. but the Bible said God will not allow you to be tempted beyond the measure that you can handle. So even in the hour of temptation, God give you grace right. to overcome that temptation so you don't have to yield to that sin. You don't have to yield to it. God has given you the grace, not the sin. Amen. Amen. Not the sin. Glory be to God. Amen. Because sin ain't going nowhere. As long as you're in this world, this sin, this is a, this is a sinful world. Amen. 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 So you don't have to be a part of their sin. Amen. Amen. You could be in the world and not off the world. Because yes. you have been born from above. Hallelujah. Yes. You're, a new, you're a new creature in Christ. Yes. Amen. Yes. You no longer bear the sin nature. The sin nature is, is, is crucified with Jesus. Is that what Paul says? Yeah. yeah the old man has been crucified with Jesus. And the new man, you have been risen in the newness okay. of life. Amen. Amen. Let's go to Luke chapter 1, verse 37. Luke 1, 37. Or with God, nothing shall be impossible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Firing, blocking every device of the enemy. With God, nothing, impossible. nothing shall be impossible. So when God is with you, sings of God, nothing is impossible. Amen. Hallelujah. With you, nothing is impossible. Yeah. I yeah. Don't even look at what you yeah. see. Opposition mm -hmm. is not impossible. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Why? Because God is with you. Amen. 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 God is with you. Nothing is impossible. Somebody said nothing is impossible. Nothing is impossible. I can do all things. I can do all things. Through Christ who strengthens me. Do you believe that? Hallelujah. Yes, I can do it. believe that. Give God praise. Hallelujah. James 1 5. Breaking every device of the enemy, blocking it, blocking every device of the enemy that will not come to you. It will not penetrate you. Amen. James chapter 1 verse 5. If any of you lack wisdom, if any of you will lack wisdom. Let him ask of God. Hallelujah. That giveth all to all men liberally, mm -hmm. and upbraideth not, and it shall be given him. Amen. So it's really going to take wisdom, the wisdom of God, to overcome the devil. Mm -hmm. 
It's going to take the wisdom of God to overcome the devil. Once you've got the wisdom of God, you can overcome any devil. Mm -hmm. Amen.